Hey, welcome back to the Full Disclosure Podcast, where we rip apart the nonsense shaping our world and your wallet. Now, today is going to be a totally different show, a complete departure from what we've done in the past. And I'm going to take a different path today, kind of take a break from all the chaos that's happening. And boy, is there a lot of chaos, right? I certainly need a break from it, and I'm sure you do too. So today I'm addressing a problem that affects a majority of people trying to succeed in life. So a few days ago, an organization called Success Resources, they're the largest financial education company in the world, and they handle people like Tony Robbins and Richard Branson, and of course, Robert Kiyosaki, and that's how I've gotten to know them. And Success Resources is the event organizer who handles all of our events that we speak at around the world. And they frankly are the, they are the premier stage to be on, and it's an absolute honor to be one of their speakers. So they invited me to present virtually, of course, to their VIP members, and there's about 100 of them. And they asked me to present to their members why in all my years of coaching people, why in my experience, most people cannot achieve their true potential. In other words, what's the underlying reason most people never escape the rat race and or fall short of what they're capable of achieving, which I'm going to talk about today. And then part two of that discussion They asked me to discuss what I feel is a viable and proven solution for people to utilize to generate cash flow and build wealth, which they told me is the number one request by their VIP members, how to generate cash flow separately from their job or their business. Now, that was a one hour presentation I did, and this is only a a, this show is only about 30 minutes. So what I want to do is I want to share that presentation with you as a two-part series. So today, I'll talk about the underlying root cause of why you may be struggling or why you're not reaching your true potential. And then next week, I'll talk about a proven and effective strategy that you can embrace fairly quickly to build wealth and income. And this presentation, both today and next week, is a culmination of my 30 years as a wealth coach, working with thousands of individuals of all walks of life, all wealth and income levels, all financial education levels, and all backgrounds. It's really a culmination of what I've witnessed firsthand with most individuals and especially entrepreneurs. So my goal over the next two weeks is you walking away with renewed vigor, energy, excitement, and insight, realizing perhaps why you're not reaching the stars, why you feel like all you're doing is pushing that boulder uphill every single day. And then next week, offering a viable, proven, and effective cash flow strategy for you to use very quickly. Also, I'm extending my offer for my free audio book. It was a big hit from last week, The Ultimate Guide to Wealth. And I'll share it with you in a moment, a little bit more about it, why I produced it, and how you can get it for free. So stay tuned. We got a lot to get into in a very short period of time. Folks, here we go. If you have concerns about your financial future, let's be honest, the world shapes your wallet. We're taking you behind the scenes to look at what's really happening in the real world. Inform, prepare, and empower. This is the Full Disclosure Podcast with your host, John McGregor. Before we jump into it, don't forget to ring that bell below, hit subscribe. You definitely don't want to miss next week. Love to hear your comments or feedback. Let me know what you think and also where you're finding opportunities in this environment. Also, as I said last week, I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of emails from people saying they're very concerned about their financial future. Obvious reasons, of course. Rightfully so, given everything that's going on right now. And maybe you're one of them. Many people are juggling two to three jobs, still struggling to make ends meet. And the dream of a comfortable retirement or really a retirement at all, seems increasingly unattainable. And the desperation in their voices from the emails I receive is unmistakable. That's why I'm extending a special completely free offer today for my audio book titled The Ultimate Roadmap to Wealth, How to Achieve Financial Independence and Live Life on Your Own Terms. And after 30 years of working with thousands of of individuals, I've distilled my best practices into this audio book. It really challenges conventional wisdom, You'll learn practical, proven steps to end your financial struggles, create more cash flow, and build wealth. And the ultimate goal is to help you achieve the life you desire and, frankly, the life you deserve. And I'm offering it to you for free. So simply go to my website at johnmacgregor.net, click the resource tab at the top, scroll down to the audiobook section, and use the code WEALTH at checkout 
to get it for free. The code WEALTH at checkout to get it for free. All right, so let's dive in. So as I said in the intro, what I want to talk to you today about is the underlying reason or the root cause of why you or most people continue to struggle or why most people are unable to meet their true potential. Now, I know firsthand, many of you are thinking to yourself, John, just give me the answer. Just tell me where to invest my money. Tell me where the hot place is to put my money. Show me how to get rich, right? I hear it all the time. John, just confirm to me what I'm doing is the right thing because I don't want to hear anything contrary. <laughs> I, mean, I, I hear that so often. I mean, I can sense it when I'm dealing with people. So you want to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you, which can and will be the key to incredible success you never, ever thought was possible. But sadly, most people brush this off, thinking they're smarter than everyone else. Folks, I see the comments. Many are triggered when they hear something that runs contrary to their beliefs, and they're afraid to face the hidden obstacles, and they're unwilling to admit what they're dealing with, and hence they miss out on tremendous opportunities. I mean, Robert and I talk about this all the time, and I'm going to be brutally honest here today. I mean, this is going to be kind of tough love because I really, really want all of you to succeed. Because I guarantee you, if you go through this process with me, you will radically transform your financial life and your overall life forever. That's my promise to you. And I've seen it firsthand thousands of times with those that took this seriously. So the first question is, and by the way, normally this presentation comes with slides, but given the fact that 95% of you just listen to this, I'm just going to stick to the verbal presentation. But if you want the recorded presentation with slides that I did a few, uh, few days ago, leave me a comment and we'll get that over to you. So the first question is, I want you to ask yourself. In fact, you can even pause this after I ask it. Is ask yourself, are you reaching your absolute true potential? Honestly. And if you're not, ask yourself why. And I want you to take some time really thinking and slow thinking this and really open up inside. Like, in, like I said earlier, I would encourage you to pause this and just spend some time thinking hard about that question. Why? And I want you to keep that in mind as we go through this presentation together. Because in the 30 years I've been coaching thousands of people, and in all the research me and my team have done on successful people versus those that are struggling or not reaching their potential, boils down to one thing. One thing. That's it. It's not strategies. It's not tactics. It's not tools. It's not crypto. It's not rental properties. It's not gold. It's one thing. One thing. It's mindset. That's it. And in a moment, I'm going to address the key part of your mindset that is likely holding you back. And we'll wrap it up with a very powerful activity that you can do to really reveal and uncover and overcome the issues that are preventing you from meeting your potential. Now, before you tune out and think to yourself, I've heard this before. Tell me something new. My mindset's just fine. Just tell me how to get rich, John. You're doing yourself and your family a huge disservice if you don't go through this. Those things that I just mentioned, the crypto, the real estate, the multi-level marketing, or whatever it is you decide to embrace, and those are all great avenues to pursue. But if you have the right mindset in place, you can crush it in any of those things. If you don't have the right mindset, which most people do not, again, you will never reach your potential in any of those things. That's why research tells us that up to 90% of people do not have the right mindset, even though most believe they do, which is why only a small percentage of people have tremendous success and tremendous success consistently, regardless of what's going on in the economy or the world. And most people will tell me, John, my mindset's strong. I'm positive. I read the books. I'm focused. Look at all the success I've had. I mean, that's great. It's amazing. I'm absolutely thrilled for you. But I'm telling you, no matter how much success you've had, there's something missing. There's much more you could be accomplishing, but there's something holding you back from really reaching to the stars. On the other hand, I run into people all the time, particularly at these big events we speak at through Success Resources. And I get the comments from this podcast on YouTube, the emails from my website, and they say, John, you know, I'm really struggling. I don't know what to do. I've reached the end of my rope. I've tried everything. Please tell me what to do. 
And when the word mindset comes up, their eyes glaze over because all they want to know is the quick fix. That's why so often I see people at these events come up to me and say, hey, John, what do you think about crypto? What do you think about real estate? Should I day trade? Or whatever the flavor of the day is. And you could see the desperation in their eyes. And they run off and spend thousands of dollars on these programs and box full of DVDs and workbooks, hoping and praying something magical is going to happen to them when they get home. And when they get home, they end up staring at this box full of DVDs, what I call hope in a box, that they think something's going to jump out and save their life. They may watch a DVD, a DVD or two, but within a short period of time, that box of DVDs or that program is in the closet and they've just wasted three to five to $10,000 of money they didn't have. And now they feel like an even bigger failure than they were before. In fact, they would have been better off if they had not purchased that than had they purchased that. And look, it's not to say those programs are bad. Not at all. Many of those programs are excellent, loaded with great information, run by great teachers who I personally know and I endorse. It has nothing to do with the programs. It has everything to do with the mindset of that individual. That's the missing piece that none of these other programs talk about. But here's the problem. Here's the bigger problem. Nine months later, those same people are back at the same conference looking for the next shiny new object to spend another three to five to $10,000 on an already maxed out credit card. They haven't addressed the key reason why they are struggling. In other words, they want to go to the gym once thinking that's going to lose 20 pounds. And this is precisely why New Year's resolutions last now 11 days before people quit. Their mindset is not in line with their true vision of their life. The last thing I want to say to you before we go in depth here, before we move on, is that you are one decision away from completely changing and transforming your life. If you open your mind and you're willing to accept new information, one decision, and you can have everything you desire and frankly deserve. More on that to come. But just remember, all it takes is an ironclad decision on your part, and you can have whatever you want in life. Guarantee it. And that's regardless of any crisis that's going on in the world or in your country. And you know, I talk a lot about that on this show. We all know the world's gone chaotic, right? Massive inflation, wars going on. Frankly, World War III could break out any day now. Inflation's still sky high. Most countries around the world are drowning in debt. Crime is rampant. Illegal immigration around the world is destroying countries. And now a former president and potential future president was just mysteriously almost killed by an assassin. So to say things are chaotic is an absolute understatement, right? But have you noticed that despite all of this, there are a lot of people that are still thriving, growing, and succeeding? I mean, haven't you noticed that successful people always figure out a way to win, no matter what's going on? They figure out a way to up their game and take on any challenge or crisis they face in any environment, and they keep striving and thriving consistently? I'm here to tell you, it has nothing to do with your perceived lack of education, where you grew up, what schools you attended or did not attend, who your parents were, or any other thing like that that you think is the underlying reason you are being held back. I'm here to tell you, you have exactly what it takes to achieve an incredible life for you and your family beyond what you even think is possible. I have seen it, folks, for years. The worst possible situations turned around where they were broke, and now they are thriving. Look, there's nothing wrong with your brain. There's nothing wrong with you physically. There's nothing wrong with you mentally. You have what it takes right now to absolutely crush it. But here's the problem. You have certain barriers within your mind that are holding you back. That's it. We all do. And this is what I've seen throughout my many years of working with so many people that are doing well versus those that are struggling. And we're going to break it down for you in just a moment. The problem is that people are using the wrong strategy to change or transform their life. They think if they read a book, watch a podcast, a YouTube video, that that's going to change their life. Look, those things can be extremely helpful. But I'm here to tell you, all that information that you're taking in is not a highly effective way to achieve the things you desire. Why? Because from a biological standpoint, Information does not cause transformation. Look, there is no way to achieve lasting financial freedom, 
peace of mind and independence. In other words, there's absolutely no way to reach the stars without incorporating a process that taps into your brain and makes changes at the core of your mental programming. That's the key to achieving the life you desire. That's the missing piece that most, if not all, programs miss. And that's the key. And that's what a majority, if not 99% of people miss. And that is what's holding you back. As I said earlier, most people are stuck on the quick solution rather than the root problem. And you may have had a lot of success in your life, and I'm sure a lot of you do, but there may be something holding you back, and I'm going to address it. And to be clear, if you are being held back or if you are struggling, it is not your fault because this is how you were taught to learn and to change yourself was simply with more information. But this is why we see these staggering financial statistics that show most people, most working adults are living paycheck to paycheck. This is why. In fact, the number is 78% of working adults are living paycheck to paycheck. This is why we see 64% of people that could not come up with $500 for an emergency expense. This is why 65% of people are considered financially illiterate and why 40% of people will be completely reliant on the government for the retirement. And by the way, for women, it's even worse because typically they outlive their husband, leaving her a mess. And typically, in my personal experience, not as much money as she thought she was going to have for her retirement. I've seen this with so many of my clients. This is why three out of four women in poverty today were not in poverty when their husband was alive. Let that one sink in. So when I left the corporate world 15 years ago, I really set out to solve a problem that's affecting hundreds of millions of people every single day. And that's their financial struggles. And financial struggles are the leading cause of stress, and stress is the leading cause of our most deadly diseases and health ailments. That's why I say this is a bigger epidemic than all diseases combined. And I knew more information was not the answer. I knew another budget calculator was not the answer. I knew it wasn't another investment vehicle. I knew it wasn't another financial plan because I realized this isn't a problem due to a lack of information because all the information is available at your fingertips for free on how to achieve lasting financial peace and independence. So I knew that wasn't the problem. What I realized is that this is a behavioral problem. And the only way to change behavior is at the core of your mental programming. It's no different than health and well-being. Sadly, a majority of people are considered obese, right? Yet every single one of them pretty much knows exactly what they need to do to get their health on track. And yet they won't do it. It's the same thing here. So with a thought leader in the field of neuroscience, J.W. Wilson, we spent three years creating a five-step process that we call Thrive Path. And that creates the biological environment that taps in your brain at its core to make changes you need to achieve what you never thought was possible. And this is what I teach around the world. And by the way, this process applies to any aspect of your life, relationships, your health and well-being, uh, your professional life, your family, and especially your financial life. And each stage builds on itself as you go through it. So the five stages are, first one, limiting beliefs. Number two is understanding what's deeply meaningful to you at your core. That's the holy grail of change and transformation. Number three is becoming keenly aware of your behaviors and being keenly aware of what you are doing will never get you what you want. Most people are completely unaware. Number four is adopting consistent rituals in your life, structure. And then lastly, fifth is embracing mentorship to really accelerate your transformation. And when I look back on my life and the success I've been blessed with, it's these five stages are precisely why I achieved financial freedom at the age of 37. This is the process. This is the key to you living life on your own terms. It's behavioral. And the only way to change behavior is at the core of your mental programming. So today, I'm going to take you through the first one, and that's limiting beliefs. This first, And I know a lot of you have heard of this before, but we're going to take a different approach on this. This first stage you need to understand is the biggest the biggest barrier holding you back, and it's an absolute killer if you don't change it. Until you get to the root of your problem, in other words, the core of your struggles or the core of why you're not reaching your true potential, you will not achieve the financial life you desire 
or deserve. Nothing changes until this changes. And this first stage is where so many people that came to me were stuck and couldn't successfully overcome what was holding them back. And it was right in front of their eyes, but they couldn't see it. And it's here when you break through this is where you can absolutely accelerate your ability to thrive in life. Let me explain. In fact, research suggests that 95% of our life, who we are, who you are, comes directly from your beliefs, running nonstop in your subconscious mind like a computer 24-7. And you don't even know it. Your beliefs determine how you think, how you act, how you behave. Your beliefs determine the decisions you make for yourself. And as I said moments ago, your beliefs determine your destiny. And whether you're struggling or thriving, it's all because of your belief system. And research tells us that many of our core beliefs and ideas about the world are formed before the age of eight. That's right, eight years old. At eight years old, is this a rational or logical stage of our life to basically determine our future? No, I don't think so. Now, you may disagree that our beliefs are hardwired by the time we're eight. Fine, fine. Let's say it's 20 years old. Is 20 a healthy age for us to dictate our future? No way. But here's the bigger problem. Research tells us that approximately 70 to 75% of our beliefs, remember, that is controlling our lives, 70, 70, 70 to 75% of our beliefs in all aspects of our lives are negative, disempowering, and self-sabotaging. 70 to 75% of our beliefs are negative, disempowering, and self-sabotaging. What you believe to be true, which is embedded in your subconscious mind that you're not even aware of, is often not true. And that's what leads to your problems or lack of potential. Yet most people never challenge their beliefs. Why? Well, in my experience doing this for a very long time, there are two reasons. First, they couldn't see them. They never realized how much power, how destructive these beliefs can be in their lives. And number two, they don't know how to challenge their belief system. And the problem with that is you don't realize it until it's too late. So let me give you some examples. And I want you to think about these in your own life. These beliefs I've uncovered from people when we first started working together and they had no idea these harmful beliefs were controlling and harming their lives. That's how powerful they can be. In fact, many times people will deny they have these beliefs until we, re we reveal them. And that's the aha moment. When they finally realize there's certain beliefs that are holding them back, that's when they go, oh my gosh, I had no idea. And that's good because that's when change and transformation begins. When you can acknowledge you have these harmful beliefs that are holding you back. So let me share some of these with you and think about them in perspective of your own life. So the first one is, I'm not smart enough. Now, this is an interesting one because I know a lot of you are thinking you are plenty smart to do well. But what I've seen over the years is that even the most confident people all have this hidden voice inside of their head in their subconscious that's whispering, you're not that smart. And this is a tough one for people to admit that they have this belief in their mind that they're not smart enough. But for a lot of people, they're carrying this disempowering belief, even though it's a complete lie. A lot of people think they're smart enough, but again, there's still that little voice in their head saying, am I really, really that smart to take on this type of project? So going down the list, and there are hundreds of these, these are just some of the most common ones I've heard over the years. I don't deserve it. I need to make more money before I can go out on my own. It's too late for me. I don't have time right now to take care of things that I need to, or I have plenty of time to take care of those things. Another one, I'll never be rich. I'll never get out of debt. I need a certain image to succeed. My company will take care of me. It's only $50 per month on my credit card. What difference does it make? I can do this on my own. I don't need any help. I was never good with money. I never had the education. My parents were poor. It's too complicated. I was never good at math. Most wealthy people, they inherited their money. I'll never get out of debt. The system is rigged. Financial freedom is impossible. There's no way I could do that. That's way too big of a project for me to handle, or that's way over my head. And there are so many more. Dr. Bruce Lipton, 
It's a guy I follow a lot. He's an internationally recognized leader in bridging science and personal success. He says, so by definition, your life is a printout of your unconscious programming based on your destructive belief system. What is troubling is that you play these programs 95% of the time and you don't even see them. So that means at least 95% of the time you are sabotaging yourself and you don't even see it. Therefore, you will never understood why things in your life were not working, end quote. He also says, that's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich. It all boils down to people's harmful and self-sabotaging belief system that is running in their subconscious mind on autopilot, dictating how you think, how you act, and ultimately who you become. And any research will tell you, change your beliefs and you'll change your life forever. This first stage starts the process of total mindset transformation and begins the process to align your financial behaviors with the outcome you've envisioned for yourself. This stage alone is enough to transform your life forever, your entire life. And I've witnessed it firsthand in my own life and with hundreds, if not thousands of other people. So the obvious question now, as we wrap up, how do you transform your limiting, limiting beliefs, right? How do you overcome these harmful self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging beliefs that are holding you back from reaching your true potential? So the first thing you want to do is take out a notebook and list all of your beliefs, in this case, around money. And by the way, if you're struggling in other areas of your life, your health, your relationships, your family, your marriage, your work, or anything else, I would encourage you to do this exact same exercise for each one of those things individually. So going back to your limited beliefs around money, choose the 10 most disempowering beliefs that you came up with that you feel have the greatest impact, negative impact on your life. And by the way, this exercise should not be done in one sitting. You really need to take some time over time to slow think this because more and more will come out as you go through this. It's like peeling an onion. So for each of those beliefs, those 10 beliefs, the most powerful beliefs that are holding you back, ask yourself the following questions. First, where and who did that belief come from and when? And do your best to come up with an answer as close as you can. Number two, write down for that belief, is this belief 100% true? And really challenge yourself on this. Number three, what excuses have you made as a result of that belief? Number four, what actions or inactions have you taken in your life as a result of that specific belief? And by the way, an inaction can be just as as destructive, if not more so than an action. Because a lot of people have these harmful beliefs that are holding you back from taking action. Number five, what have been the results in your life as it pertained to that belief? And then finally, number six, what would your life be like without that belief you are carrying? So those six questions for each belief around money. And this is really the first step in identifying and becoming aware of how powerful these limiting beliefs are in your life, your future, and your true potential. And if you take this seriously and you go through it, this has been proven to create a radical and extremely positive transformative process in people's lives. So I encourage you, please, I implore you to do this and take it seriously and don't rush through it. Folks, in the end, this episode... And the activity I'm suggesting is all about awareness because people go through lives, people go through their life totally blind and unaware of what's truly holding them back. Because as I always say, what you are aware of, you can control and identify opportunities, but what you are not aware of will almost always control you. Let me know what you think and please share some of the limiting beliefs that you believe are holding you back. And by the way, If you'd like me to go in more depth on those other four stages I mentioned, let me know in the comments and I can address them in future shows. It really is a powerful program that I teach. And this is a program I teach around the world that I do in workshops, and I'm happy to share it with you. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know what you think. 
Don't forget next week is part two of this virtual pre presentation that I made. And that's all about the simple cash flow wealth building strategy that anyone can incorporate in their life. So you don't want to forget to hit that subscribe button and leave your comments below. And please share this with others to help the show. Don't forget my free offer for my audio book, The Ultimate Roadmap to Wealth. Use code WEALTH to get it instantly for free. It really is a game changer. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time on Full Disclosure. Take care. Happy investing. Have a great week. And we'll see you next time. Aloha. Thanks for listening and supporting Full Disclosure. If you like this episode, remember to like and subscribe and follow Full Disclosure. To make a better financial plan for your future, join our Cashflow Bootcamp, where John shows you a safe and smart way to turn your investments into a steady income stream in a fraction of your time. Learn to make money in any market. Until next time. This podcast is a presentation of Rich Dad Media Network.